most people, going for a seven-kilometre run might be the hardest part of your day, but not for our next guest, who gave birth hours later without even realising she was pregnant. Yes, 31-year-old Charlotte Wheeler-Smith was checked over by a doctor after experiencing stomach cramps. She was told it was probably trapped wind, but an hour later she went into labour and gave birth in her partner's apartment in Amsterdam. Well, she joins us now with baby Evelyn and Dr Sophie van der Schur, who... Charlotte says, saved the baby's life. Good morning to both of you. You'd been told by the doctor that it was trapped wind. This is the assumption that you were working on. And then all of a sudden, you see an umbilical cord and you realise, oh, no, actually, this is a baby coming out. So you... I mean, I can't believe it seems you stayed remarkably calm despite the shock of this. Yeah, so instinct just took over and I had to listen to my body. Um, and Dominic and I um, just delivered our daughter and... She was very, very poorly when she was born. Um, an umbilical prolapse is pretty catastroph catastrophic, even in a medical setting, which I'm sure Sophie will um, confirm as well. Um, but we resuscitated her and then um, the ambulance arrived and we've received the best care here in, here in the Netherlands. Amazing. And, and we understand that you, you sort of had an idea of what to do because of watching One Born Every Minute. Yes, so I'd seen something like that before and I knew that it definitely wasn't a good situation um, and I just knew I had to get um, Evelyn out so I just pushed with everything that I had um, and she arrived. And then your boyfriend remembered his CPR that he'd been taught but from primary school and, 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 and then administered that to this tiny baby. Yes, so Dominic was absolutely incredible. He remembered all the teaching that a primary school teacher gave him um, and we were able to keep Evelyn going before the ambulance arrived. Dr Sophie, if we can come to you, it is a remarkable story. We're all reeling from here, not least uh, Charlotte and Dominic staying so calm in, in what must have been the most extraordinary situation. Have you ever experienced or, or heard of something like this? Um, I think um, annually we see it like once a year. Uh, this is a very large hospital in, in Amsterdam uh, with 6,000 deliveries a year and uh, Evelyn was the first of this year, but it's really, really a rare situation. And uh, I think that Dominic and Charlotte did a very good job because uh, we proceed in the resuscitation and she was really fighting for her life, uh, and we did also, but they did a very good job at home to, to, to call the ambulance and bring her to the hospital, and then we proceed with the uh, resuscitation. So I'm really proud of Dominic and Charlotte that they we were so calm in, in having a baby, um, not knowing having a baby and then delivering a baby, and which is uh, who was in, in uh, short of oxygen. Yeah, so, so. She'd been, she's a bit of a miracle, isn't she, Doctor? Because she was starved of oxygen because of the way that she was uh, coming out uh, when she was delivered. And, and you've sort of looked at it and you treated her and you can't quite believe she's as well and as healthy and as happy as she is. Yeah, this is really a wonderful story because we did the recitation and we we helped her with with breathing, with cardio, uh, with with everything, and then we transferred her from our hospital to an intensive care in Amsterdam, neonatal intensive care, because to minimize the the, the damage done to the brain, and uh, we call it cooling therapy. And she was in this cooling therapy for three days to minimize the the, the oxygen damage. And um, after a week, she returned to our hospital. And, and it's really still uh, a wonder because she's alive and she's really, she's really strong. She's really a strong girl and she's now breathing by herself. She's, she's, the only thing she needs to learn now is, is knowing how to drink, which is progressing every day. So it's really a miracle. I mean, it is an absolute miracle. We can only see the top of her head, I have to say, at the moment. I don't know if you're able to lift her up a teeny bit so we can see. Oh, I don't want you to... I don't want you to upset her if she's in a, in a nice, cuddly position. But, Charlotte, I mean, you are so grateful to Dr Sophie, I know, aren't you? Because you credit her with saving Evelyn's life. I mean, what, what does she mean to you? It's obviously an amazing thing that she did to be able to bring her back and to save her like that. I mean, the team here have done an absolutely brilliant job. So when I returned back to this hospital, um, I immediately saw what Sophie and her colleagues and... Um, it, it's not very often in, in life that you get to meet strangers who have the power to change the direction of your life. 
And it was very much between me being able and hopefully a week or so to take this beautiful baby girl home um, to unfortunately it being a very sad story. I, I wonder, Charlotte, what that moment was though, when everything's calmed down and you phoned your parents and well, you, I, <laughs> and you had to, yeah, go on, talk was, us through that. It was Dominic that phoned my mother um, and my parents were both out on a walk because it was Father's Day. And um, my mum actually um, fell over in a cow pat <laughs> because she was so shocked. Aww. But at first, Dominic said, um, Charlotte's had a baby and she's not breathing. So my mother thought that it was me that wasn't breathing. <laughs> was even more panic. Um, but obviously, everybody's been very shocked, but very supportive as well. So I just have to thank everybody that we know who has been so kind to give us wishes and love and prayers and support because without all of that behind us, along with this exceptional medical team here, we wouldn't be here today.